guys, it's Fiction here. Um, I've been an absolute div. Um, I recorded a segment where I said, hi guys, it's Fiction here and today I'm going into the blah, 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 blah. But when I went to record, well, when I went to watch the recording back, that one corrupted, but the rest of it, the rest of it wanted to work because I've done it in segments. So I know what I'm doing. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing because the other bit didn't want to fucking work. So here we are. <laughs> so in this video, we're going to be going into the trickster, the new killer for Dead by Daylight. In the segments, I'll be talking about his perks. A little bit about his backstory, just to begin with, and how crazy he is. And we'll equip a build, equip some add-ons, and equip an offering. I got some blood points from it. And it turned out a little bit better than I thought. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy. This is the Trickster. See you soon. So, here is the Trickster. I'm still not used to pointing with the camera yet. But, he is a Korean pop artist who has a insatiable thirst for making screams from his victims into his songs. It's a bit deranged of how his backstory is. He's called Jiwoon, and he's mental. Basically, the fear factor is not there physically, but it's just how he oozes charisma and how simple his setup is. But even though he looks normal, he fucking ain't. He's just, he's crackers. <laughs> so... He's a different style of killer. He's been branded as an easy tiered killer. So, as you can see on the killer list, obviously, take the blight. He's tiered as hard. So are the twins. He's been tiered as easy. Uh, depending on what add-ons and perks you have, that's more or less the case. So, in his you can read all of his backstory on... Like wikis and stuff like that if you really want to have a look his perks are these starstruck your unmatched showmanship dazzles all while carrying a survivor on your shoulders any other survivors within your terror radius suffer from the exposed status i.e with no ed or when haunted ground gets cleansed or devour hope when it gets to enough stacks or myers is myers and ghost faces stalking techniques the effect persists for 20, blah, 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 can't speak. 26 seconds on survivors who leave your terror radius, as well as those within your terror radius. When you hook or release the carried survivor, Star Starstruck has a cooldown of one minute once a survivor is no longer carried. So if you hook them or drop them because you think, meh, go for the slug if you want to play that way. It kind of works easier if you've got a very altruistic team, but it's not the... It's not the most, what's the word, revered perk that he uses, I think. It depends on your build. It all depends on your build. Crowd control. This is one that I prefer. A hex that ensures that those are properly herded. The entity blocks a window for 10 seconds after a survivor vaults and walk, runs through the window. So instead of doing it three times within 15 seconds, it is blocked for 10 seconds instantly, helping you within that 10 seconds to break loops and making it easier for you. So it's a bit of a gamble for that one. If they find it, then crowd control's gone. But it kind of helps either in the middle of the trial or the end. If they're quite good at loops, the loop will break. If they make a mistake with any pallets, then the loop is completely broke. Then it's just a matter of pot luck. Then this one, no way out. Very similar to Blood Warden, but it's not. So, after hooking a survivor for the first time, no way out gains a token. So it stacks. Kind of like barbecue and chili and devour hope and so on and so forth. When the last generator is repaired, the entity will block both exit gate switches for 10 seconds plus an additional 4 seconds for each token in your possession so it gets extended with the amount of tokens you have which helps within the end game if you've got a very 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 smart team with the right build you can make that end game collapse work in your favor they can make mistakes because they'll start to panic then the pressure builds so 
it's quite useful. So, those are his teachables. Starstruck, eh, I'd say get it anyway if you want to go for a very like, controlling build. Especially when you've got some altruistic squads. Crowd control is better when you want to try and commit to chases. But you don't want to keep being looped constantly or get looped for a very long amount of time. Or, no way out if you want to have an advantage in the end game. It does help. They all help. So, what we'll do, we'll set him up with some perks. Hopefully the, uh, well, it's been a while since I've <laughs> actually seen, his perk, seen the perks that I want to use. But, we'll see what we can do. We'll get a build going. And we'll see what we do. So, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't got a lot of perks for him at the minute. But I got what I did get some in the blood web early on, which I'm quite happy with. So what we'll do, we'll go for stuff that we might know we're going to use. So crowd control, we'll give that a whirl. For the benefit of the video, we'll use Starstruck. See how we go with that. We'll have a gen regressing perk as well. So we'll have Ruin on to try and create some snowball pressure. And I think to try and help us with getting some early on hits and hooks in the games i might say put corrupt on so it brings them closer to us it could be a really shit build but i'm going with the perks i know so far his ability he has 60 blades and he keeps throwing them across the map i think it's seven or eight i believe it's eight blades when you get an injured state so your laceration meter starts to fill up it's very similar to plague's infection meter but uh, it kind of goes away once you smack someone with the baseball bat he's got just down there so we're going to put some add-ons on so we're going to start with let's see we'll increase some of the movement speed well we'll have the ricochet ones and i think Hmm. Doesn't matter about the movement speed as much because we can catch him or them. We'll start with a few extra blades as well. For an offering, we will put on... We'll be nice. No, actually, no, we won't. We'll save that for later. We'll put survivor pudding on. We'll get into a game. See how we do. Just to warn you now, I'm not the best killer. And I might do things that might not be things that you would do but this is just purposely showing the trickster off and what i think of him so them that over there and them who are corrupted as well let's have a little mooch to see where they will go there's not many places where crowd control will work so i'm quite sad I do has they've made this map very very foggy as well I believe. So he does this, and the add-on helps with ricochets, so you can aim it at the floor if you really wanted to. So I'm not the best killer. I'm gonna put it out there. I've had a bit of um rust as the killer. I do that to try and scare people away from the gens. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's fucking shocking and it doesn't work. So I do believe our little survivor friends might be waiting for the corrupt to finish. It's a very common thing at the minute. Also, I have no idea if these guys are a squad. They might be. They were waiting as soon as I come in. They were waiting. Where's them scratch marks, girly? They found crowd control quickly. Jesus. Or oh, ruin. Was it ruin? It was probably ruin. Great. You can actually throw stuff. Like, you can throw through little gaps. Not being funny, mate, but I can tell you... You must be a squad at least. 
You've got to be a squad. See the ricochets? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I do not like his fucking blade throws, though. To me, they feel a bit weak. You ran straight into danger. Why? Corrupt's gone, so they're just going to rinse me at the minute. He was bait. I could tell. These are a squad. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. This. Clever bitch. Ooh, got three good hits on her, though. Ooh, did I get her? <laughs> Don't know if I did. <laughs> you can hear him laughing as well. Every so often. It's actually quite funny to listen to. Because you can just hear him going. <laughs> you can hear him do that. Oh, you clever boy. That was a long lunge, that was. These gens are popping. These guys are a squad. You can tell. I said, I'm not expecting anything to happen here right now. Don't go altruistic. It doesn't work. Not against me. Because if you do talk going too altruistic, I will probably slug you. Oof. You should have waited for Deadheart to come back. You can't body block against me either. I don't like body blocking. I know it's a tactic, but if you body block, you're going to get hit by me. I don't mind altruistic teams, but don't body block and don't be dicks. I do believe they found both of my hexes. Okay, where are the other two? Over there. I don't need him. I need one of the others. Ideally. Don't know where they've gone. This motherfucker's hiding somewhere. Not the best map for him, to be honest. Why waste the god pallet? <laughs> I could have helped you with the loop, but... Never mind, though. Not doing that, because that's a dick move. Ooh. They're playing it fucking safe. Ah, ha, ha. You. Clever. That's all you've done this whole game, by the way. You've just hidden. Try it again. Do that again, it'll be blocked. Hmm. None of you have got clickies, which I'm really surprised about. <laughs> I can hear one of you. Is that Starstruck I can see? No, yes, no. There's your starstruck. So that's your insta down. Where the hell did she go? She's wearing a brightly coloured jacket and I can't find her. There she is. Day strike? Yes, no. No. Try me. Body block, you'll get hit, mate. There's your starstruck again. It's quite a useful perk, especially when you are trying to get a hook in the late game. Especially with people that are playing real smart. Don't go off my shoulders, please. Did you hear that little laugh then? <laughs> Put your hand on my shoulder. So Starstruck is a useful perk, but it's one that people are starting to hate very quickly because it works similar to No One Escapes Death. But you don't need to fix all the gens to do it. I thought I just saw Meg, but no. 
I'm just seeing things. One up there. Well, I got one. I was not expecting to get one this game. I'm happy. Are they going to be brave? They are being brave. Clever girl. I got one at least. I'm happy. That ricochet did not work. <laughs> don't be a... Sh don't do a stupid. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, girlie. Oh, I'm not keen on him. No. Some of the stuff that he does, it's all right, but it ain't the best. Are you around? There you are. You? Oh, okay. One of you's got one. I knew one of you had a fucking clicky somewhere. <laughs> Can you hear his fucking laugh? It's so scary. Come on. I'm not playing this fucking little merry-go-round. Oh, oh. oh. Unlucky. And you're the one with the clicky too. I'll take you. You're going over this way. <laughs> I can see one over there. Starstruck should be active for you now. You're going to go for the save, mister. No, nah, I can see you. I'm not an idiot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you're cruising for a spanking. There we go. Perfect. He's dead. <laughs> well, he would be. I could find a goddamn hook. Oh, hatches there. <laughs> evil, evil. Where are you? There you are. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Come on, where you go? Yeah, 3K. Woo! <laughs> Recovered that one in the end game very quick, so that's not too bad. I'll take that. And the animation for that's cool too. You know what? I'll take that. Wasn't expecting that. I thought they were going to wipe the floor with me. I will happily take that game. The safety, it will do. I'm not. Wasn't expecting much. And the matchmaker was actually pretty balanced as well. Dead hard. Borrowed. Not bad. Self-care. Sprint burst. Bond. Dead hard again. Ooh, they played real safe. They had a lot of borrowed time on there. They must have been a squad. They played well, though. Can't moan about that. Cannot moan. So. We're going to go into my overview of that. Overall, I think the Trickster is is pretty fun to play as, especially when you get the right add-ons. I probably didn't have the right build or add-ons to begin with. I still need work with some of this stuff, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, basically, I think he's fun. With the right build and the right tactics, especially with the blades, because then they're the most weakest thing that i've seen so far eight blades per injured state or down state so you need to be like shit up with your accuracy but overall i think he's fun but wouldn't be on my first thing to pick but i thought i'd do it for the sake of the video for you the one to watch out for is starstruck big time because when if you're in that radius you can be insta-hit straight away. So if you've got a very good squad, make sure you're away from that killer. Sometimes I've seen people on their shoulders walking around the map to make sure you're within the terror radius. So watch that one. Crowd control can be easily spotted. 
Ruin and Crowd Control. Those hexes got took out real quick. So, if you've got a team that doesn't go for totems, then that's probably your best bet. Crowd Control, especially if you want to try and break loops a little bit into your favour. But, I hope you enjoyed. Um, was not expecting to pull that 3k out my ass, but here we are. <laughs> but, I hope you enjoyed the game. That's my inside to the trickster. I might try and do different builds as him. I might do a few games where I do different killers, different builds, different perks. See how we go. And some best bits as well. Survivor or killer side. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, give the trickster a try. Don't knock it till you try it. Block with every killer. Everyone's different. So, I will see you in the fog, ladies and gents. Peace.